In this video, we're going to start grouping and routing our tracks in Harrison Mixbus 32C. Hey guys, this is Dr. McFarland, and thanks for checking out my channel. And in this video, we're going to learn how to take all of our individual tracks and route them to some buses so we can better organize the flow of our mix. So the first thing that we need to look at is 32C has 12 different mix buses that we can assign different tracks to. But as default, they're all sent to the master bus, which is over here. All right, so let's take a look at the buses that I have set up. And let's also take a look at the VCAs that I have set up. I'm gonna bring in these other buses here so we can see all of them. So I'm gonna slide this over and we can slide this over. All right, so you can see that this takes up a lot of real estate on my screen, which is why I have the high mix pane and VCA pane set to uh, shortcuts, which is V and B. So I can just bring those in and out pretty much with one push at the same time. Okay, so I got my drums bus and drums NYC, which is a parallel compression bus. And then I have a bass crush, which could be parallel compression, or I primarily just send the whole bass to, to that and then uh, process it accordingly. I got acoustic guitar, electric guitar, keys, background vocals, lead vocals, and then a short delay, long delay, short verb, long verb. Now these last four, I can make those something different if I really wanted to, but for right now, I just have those with some predetermined uh, kind of stuff in there. So what we're gonna do right now, the easiest way I know to start routing tracks is to go ahead and make groups of all the different tracks that you have. So that way when you start assigning the tracks to a bus, you can do this all at the same time. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So for the drums, which is from the kick all the way over here to drum room mono, I'm going to just simply slide my mouse across the top all the way to here. You can see that that's going to create a track bus group. I can call that drums and I can also change the color. Let's make it some kind of purple. And then this is gonna share the gain, the relative gain, muting, soloing, record enable, selection, active state, color, and monitoring. So that's fine with me. So you can see that it all shows up purple and all the faders also show up purple as well. All right, so the next one is our base DI and base amp. So I'll go ahead and drag across the top. I'm just gonna call that base and we'll keep it kind of greenish there. Then we have lots of different guitars. So we have electric guitar one with an amp and a DI. And we'll go ahead and make this its own group. So E guitar one, and that's gonna be blue. Then we got E guitar DT amp. I'm not sure what that is, but We'll just go with it. E guitar DT. All right, so that's a darker green. Then we got electric guitar two, electric guitar three. Um, we can keep those separate. Then we have lead vocal, lead vocal DT one and lead vocal DT two. Uh, we can make this a vocal group as well. Okay, so now that we have everything grouped together, you can see if I move one fader, that all the faders will move. Okay, which is very helpful. So now we're going to send these drums to drum bus one. So in order to do that, I'm just going to hit the one. You can see that all the dots across all the tracks in the drums are now assigned to one. But the problem is they're also being sent to the master and I want them out of the master. So I'm gonna click on that again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the Apple command on my Mac. And then when I click on number one bus, 
it's going to take that out of the master and send it to the bus. So that automatically happens when you hold down that key. Okay. So we can do that again. So I held it down once more and I clicked on master and it took it out of the bus. Or I can hold it down, click on the bus I want, and it's going to take it out of the master. So this is a very quick and easy way to do that. So if you want to undo the grouping momentarily, you just hold down shift and then you can unclick certain ones and do whatever, okay? Um, so I'm gonna do that right now pertaining to drums in YC. So it's gonna be drum bus two. I want the kick in and out to go to two as well. I want the snare up and down Okay, and I also want the toms to go to drum bus two. I want the drum rooms mono and the drum room stereo to go to the, the drums NYC bus. So I'm gonna parallel compress and EQ just that bus and then blend it back in with the original, which is gonna be cool. All right, the next one I'm gonna do is the bass. So you can see right now it's being sent to the master. I'm gonna hold down Apple command and that's gonna to go to three. So I automatically sends it to three and the master is bypassed. And then I'm gonna go electric guitar, which in our case is gonna be bus number five. I don't have acoustic guitar in this song, um, but for now I'm just gonna send everything to five. And there's five, five, and five. Then we got lead vocals. And we can do a DT and DT2. So let's just say, for example, that I wanted only the one lead vocal to go here, then the other two can go to the background vocals. And that's the way we can keep that separate. So I want the lead vocals to go to eight, which I'm gonna hold down Apple Command. And I'm gonna go ahead, since these are all grouped together, I'm gonna hit Shift to uh, take out those two tracks from bus eight and actually put those in bus seven, like so. All right, and let's say for instance that we want our drum room stereo and mono to go to our reverb. So I'm gonna do shift, send to 12, and let's go ahead and bring that down quite a bit and we can adjust the levels of that a little bit later. And let's say we want the vocal to be sent to 12. So I'm gonna hold down shift and then let's do the background vocals as well, okay? And that's pretty good for now. We don't need tons of other stuff being sent to the reverbs. Though, let's go ahead and do the toms. We can send the toms to the reverb. And we'll keep all the kick and snares dry for now. Okay? So that's how I would assign my individual tracks to the buses. And if you have any questions, please uh, comment down below. Or let me know how you like to do this in Mixed Bus and we can all learn from each other. So thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to my channel down below and be sure to click on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I release new content. I am Dr. McFarland. I will see you in the next video. Keep rocking.